Hello and welcome back. This is the Clay Golem. We are in our Foundry VTT testing world and we have something good. Lovely jubbly. So um, I mentioned in a couple of previous videos that we had this issue with our uh, special battle axe that does maximum damage against plants but does normal damage and there's some challenges around it needs to work out what's a plant, what's not a plant. It's a versatile weapon, so it's going to do different damage, whether it's one-handed, two-handed, what happens when it does critical hits and is double, uh, doing double damage and things. It's all a bit tricksy, and I've been looking at some, um, some macros and things of how we can possibly get that to work. But, like with a lot of these things, it's not just a problem that I've encountered and other people have been on the case fixing these kind of things and finding out ways to do it. Now, I have been looking through the comments... And I cannot find who it was who suggested build a bonus was an option. So really sorry, um, but thank you ever so much for that suggestion. Um, I've had a look at build a bonus just to see if it's working. And uh, I know in that comment it was like, oh, it's been outdated. It's outdated. It hasn't been updated for what? It has been updated. It's just been updated very, very recently, which is brilliant. It now means we can have a look and play with it. So um, I've, in my test world, I've got all my normal stuff on here, but you can see in the middle here, I've got build a bonus uh, also set in here. So what the heck is build a bonus? <laughs> it literally is. So let me, let's look at Hugh the battle axe. So I created this in my test world when I was playing with it. If I just open up this as an item, um, just put it on his description page. Um, this is the one where we want to have it do the magical special attack thing with that build a bonus we now have in the top right corner right next to close i know it's a bit small for you guys just up here between dae and close we've got this little icon if i click on this uh, and i'm just going to i'm going to shrink that in the background get it out of the way it's going to bring up this special little menu box uh, and this is what we're going to be able to use to create all sorts of effects and things that are special to this item you can apply this to all sorts of things so just looking at the uh, the actual module description as uh, <clears throat> excuse me itself um, it says that you can do uh, you can apply it to all sorts of different things um, I've forgotten where it is which is brilliant but you can do it things like give your wizard player a bonus to their saving throws just for divination spells you can give your um, your magical pugilist a feature akin to the brutal critical and have it apply only to melee spell attacks. Give your paladin an aura that grants each enemy within 10 feet a minus 2 to attack roll. So it can do all sorts of things like that, which is really, really good. Obviously, we've got a particular challenge. And I've got a feeling that when we encounter lots of other little issues and challenges, this might help us with it. Right. So I shut up and get on with it. All right, so select type here. So there's different types here. This is a, is this something that affects the attack roll? That's the little targeting thing there. Uh, the second one down, is it something that affects the damage roll? Uh, so I can just click on each of these. If I do this one, it comes up straight away with the box. So I clicked on targeting. I can put a description of what this is. You can see on the left here, it says it's about attack, affecting attack rolls. Um, we can adjust any of these bonuses so attack roll bonus the critical range modifier fumble range modifier uh, we've got some configuration and we've got a whole bunch of things we can filter by now those are we'll get to those in a moment and then there's an advanced thing there okay so we can do all sorts of things with that that's to do with to hit this one is to do with to damage so it affects anything to do with damage rolls this third one is anything to do with the save dc so it could be that if you're holding this item, it increases the save DC of spells you cast of a particular school. Yeah, so it could be a, a staff of enchantment. Any spells you cast while holding it um, <clears throat> have an improved DC to resist those enchantments. Um, next one down is saving throws. So rather than increasing the saving throw DC, it can increase your ability to save, which is great. Um, next one down, this little lightning bolt one, is about ability checks. So while you're holding this particular item or you're wearing these particular boots, it gives you bonuses to a particular check. And the last one down here 
is affecting hit die rolls. Okay, so lots of different things we can do. Um, you'll see it's just automatically populated all of these. I want to get rid of all of these. Go away. <laughs> I was... Come on, just clear these all out. Uh, so I'm going to leave the top one in because that's what we're interested in. We want to look at damage rolls. Now, I've closed the window for it, but as you can see, there's a couple of icons, very small again. Uh, I can toggle that effect on and off. Uh, I can copy that effect, I can edit that effect, or I can delete that effect. And you just saw I just de deleted all the other things. Um, in fact, actually, yeah, if I open that window, you can see the words here, which is a bit easier for you. Okay, if I go back into edit, so remember this is the battle axe we want to do. I, I can put any description I want. Um, does max damage when um, hitting creature creatures with the plant type there we go that's all i need to do for that and in fact i don't even need to do that do i i can do whatever i like so what is the bonuses that we want for this we can look at this whole there's a bunch of them we can do damage roll bonuses okay and now i know this is really horrible color scheme for you guys to be able to see but Bonus acid, bludgeoning, cold, fire, force, lightning, necrotic, piercing, poison, psychic, radiant, slashing, thunder, uh, and no damage, which is a slightly interesting one. Um, but you can add additional damage. Extra critical dice. So it doesn't affect its normal damage, but when it crits, it might do an extra d4 or something. Um, extra critical hit damage, or sorry, that's extra critical hit dice, extra critical hit damage. Um... And then we've got some modifiers for the dice rolls themselves. So applying it only to the first dice, what the extra dice you want to apply, what size dice they are. Um, are we re-rolling? For example, re-roll ones um, is a reasonably common thing you might have. Um, exploding. Um, <clears throat> but the one we're interested in is minimum. So there's just look at here where it's got the example. It's just showing here. If I turn that off... Um, just as an example, it's going to do 2d10 plus 1d4. That's the damage for this particular whatever it is. It's not the battle axe, it's just whatever. If I click, let me unclick maximum. If I just click this minimum, it's not going to make an awful lot of difference. But if I click maximize on here, what this means is it's going to roll 2d10 with a minimum roll of 10. So every time it rolls that d10 for damage, it's going to automatically be a 10, because that's the minimum I've said. Uh, and it just shows you here, it's going to roll 1d4 with a minimum of 4. So it's always going to be a 4. Now, I think you can probably change that and put like a, an, uh, an 8 in. So if we look here, 2d10 with a minimum of 8. Uh, 1d4 with a minimum of 4. Okay, if we did... Oops, if we just change that to 2, it's going to roll 2d10 minimum of 2 on those dice, 1d4 with a minimum of 2. In other words, it's not going to allow um, it's not going to allow 1s. If you roll a 1, it's going to make it a 2 straight away. So it's not the same as re-rolling 1s. It just, if you roll a 1, it becomes a 2 or whatever that is, uh, which is great. Now, I, don't, I, I could just manually say, oh, the minimum is 10. And you can see straight away it's going to maximise those. But if it was a D12, um, it wouldn't be doing that. It would only be going as far as 10. I just want to click maximise. Oops, there we go. So if it's rolling a D8, it's going to maximise that damage and give you an 8. If you're rolling a D10, it's going to maximise that D10 and give you a 10. That's what we want, isn't it? When it is plant types. <laughs> we can also do the same with this. Um, so that's minimum we want it we can also do this a maximum so it maybe it's a cursed item or when you're attacking a particular type of creature or or something like that you're gonna put a maximum cap on the damage it's d4 maximum of three though um, and reduce that damage down so it could work the other way so that's what we wanted to do um, now the filters here let's look at these filters next just make these a bit bigger Look at all the things that you can add. Ability modifiers, actor conditions. So you might have a magic item that acts in a particular way only when the actor has a particular condition, such as stunned or something like that. 
Um, actor creature types. Um, arbitrary comparison. Armor types. Attack types. Custom scripts. Damage types. Feature types. You know, damage type. If you get hit by bludgeoning, it does something. Uh, health percentage. Item types. <laughs> There's so much of it. It's to do with spells as well. Targeting conditions. Token sizes. Weapon properties. Weapon types. Which is great. Now under configuration. I've already added. Target creature types. Plant. Uh, if I click on keys here. You can see it's automatically got these. That I can add. Um, you can see uh, I've got plant here. Set to include. So it will do it when it's a plant. So you could have it, it does it for everything except, you know, you might have, it does reduce the damage to everything except plants. You could do it that way round. We want it doing normal damage except plants. We want it to do more damage. So that's how we can set this up. Um, got a description, told it what the bonuses I want. I've told it when I want to apply those and that just comes from the filters. And under advanced, I don't need to do anything here, but you can toggle things on and off, etc. if you wanted to. Uh, that's it. So I've only got, does maximum damage when it hits a creature with the, t with the plant type. That's all I've got on this. So let's, um, let's check this actually works then. So here's Sorryman. Again, he's in my testing world and I've lined up some people for him to give a nice kicking to. Nice day's work for him. Uh, and he's got Hugh the Battle Axe. So again, if I just edit, um, it's the normal Battle Axe. And when I call this up, it's just got this one thing on here. Um, again, if I go to edit, it hasn't got the description. In. It's maximizing. Um, it's got the creature type plant. Now, a lot of the time, the creature type is a capital letter. This is giving me a lowercase, so I just added the other one in to make sure it doesn't uh, mess up occasionally. Um, and I've just got those left on. Okay, so this should work. All right, so first of all, sorry, Mum, we are going to attack a zombie, which clearly isn't a plant. Let me just clear my chat here. So um, I've got Hugh the Battle Axe over here in his quick thing. I can just hit that automatic roll dice. Of course, he's going to miss. <laughs> Let's try that again until he actually hits. Okay, brilliant. Good. So, Sorryman has hit. So, we can see on the card on the right-hand side, under the attack, uh, he rolled an 8, uh, which was enough to hit. We can see the zombie's eight, armor class is 8. It's given us the green box. And it rolled 3 plus the 4 damage. Okay. So, he's done 7 damage with, uh, with just a normal left click. It's rolled a 1d8. Now, if I... Shift and click. So he's now doing a versatile attack, which is basically two-handed. If you were watching, you saw the dice roll there. He's rolled a 17, it's hit again. It's now rolled a D10 plus the bonus to do that damage. Okay, so the versatile weapon is working against this zombie and perfectly as we would expect it to. But we knew that. <laughs> right, let's... Uh, Oh, let's pick somebody with lots of health over here. Let's pick this Shambling Mound. So I'm targeting the Shambling Mound now, which is a plant-type creature. I'm going to do a normal one-handed attack with this Battle Axe now. This is where I spend ages not hitting it. No, good, we hit. Right, if we look top right in the card, attack roll. We rolled an 11, which was a hit with his bonuses. His damage, it rolled 1d8, a minimum of 8 plus his four bonus. So regardless of what the dice originally would have been, it automatically made that an eight. Eight plus four, 12 damage. Okay, so if you watch, I'm gonna do it again, watch the damage dice when it rolls, when you see it. The actual dice rolls an eight. It, autom it doesn't just go, oh, you rolled a three, I'll adjust it in the card. It, it actually makes the dice, it forces the dice to roll the maximum. So every time you do it, that dice will roll an eight. Because it's against a plant creature. Challenge is that versatile thing. All right, so I'm going to clear my chat because I know that gets a bit chaotic over there. I'm going to shift and left click Hue the battle axe. So we are now doing a two-handed attack. There goes that D10, maxed out at a 10, perfect. 
this is exactly what we wanted. So I can now flip back into my real game world, my real one, in back into where we're doing Fandelva. So let's do that. Um, Stormwreck Isle is called. Now, I haven't updated Stormwreck Isle to the latest version of the game engine. Um, so that's why I wanted to kind of show you this. The testing world, um, I have updated. The reason why is the um, the builder bonus that's only just been updated uh, isn't compatible. So it's not compatible with the uh, the previous version. So the only way I can get that to work is to migrate my world uh, and update it which I know is risky and it might break a couple of the other things that we've been working on, but I want to update it anyway at some point because there's no point in me spending ages working on old ones. Um, but if we come across any problems, we'll deal with them. Oh, also, you, can you hear some noises? Yeah, I did some background sounds, <laughs> um, just some general kind of town sounds, hopefully quite quietly for you. Um, just to fandling, just to give it a little bit of atmosphere. I forgot I did that until I just popped back. Um, and also, for those, it's been for those people, it's been driving completely, uh, completely nuts. Um, uh, Drazimo, if I've got your name right, um, I I've done a bit of tidying up, mate. <laughs> I know it's been driving you nuts. No, especially my my items. Um, yeah, it was all over the place. I've tidied up my items. I've made that much neater and put them in some folders. Um, the journals were reasonably okay. Um, I've also put my monsters away a bit better as well because uh, it was beginning to drive me nuts as well. And when you commented on it, it was like, yeah, it, it's it's about time I sorted that. Right, surprise, surprise, I'm getting distracted. Okay, so let me go back into my weapons here. Uh, and in here, I've got Hugh. Okay, so this is the one that we need to update, but of course I need to go to my manage modules and I need to add build a bonus. So it's actually going to restart this. Du, 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 du. Close those. Uh, where have you gone? Back in here, right Hugh. Now I've got this little icon and I can come in and say, actually, I want to give it a special type of damage bonus. The filter I want it to affect is um, target creature types okay and I can go to keys and I can say I want it to include plants I can go to my bonuses and in this case I just need to click them to that's all I need to do for this uh, I might update the oh, I don't need to do it here um, but that's it that's all I need to do for this I'm out um, I will update it here. Hugh, the battle axe. Just so it's quite clear that it, Hugh is a battle axe for anybody who's wondering. Okay, that's done. We probably need to test it, don't we? Um, let's go to a scene that hasn't got quite so much noise. Let's pop to Old Our Well. I need a player to do it. Let's just game, just check it works. You saw just how easy it was to set this up now that we've done it. Uh, we will actually use Sorryman because he's most likely to kick butt and take names. Uh, we want to, uh, let's chuck out a Needle Blight here as well. All right, brilliant. So we've got Sorryman. Let's go to our chat. Um, let's open Sorryman up. <laughs> I've got to stop phrasing it like that. <laughs> uh, and I need to give him Hugh the battle axe. You've now got Hugh the battle axe. Let's target our plant here, or our plant based creature, uh, and give it a go. Of course, he misses. On his <laughs> we get a little animation, but he misses. All right, let's try again. Come on, get it right, buddy. You can do it. Now that's a hit. Okay, that has not worked. Why has that not worked? So it's as I suspected, if I go back to my item, if I double click this, go back into here, edit this, go into my types, I can put in a semicolon and just write plant. So I've added in the type plant onto the type plant, but one has and one has not 
got that. Okay, so we can close those. We can just check that it's definitely accepted that change. Oops, configuration, plant, plant, yeah, it has. All right, now what I do need to make sure I do, of course, is uh, delete that and give it to him again to make sure we've got the correct one. Can I be equipped, please? And then let's try that again. Back to our chat, clear the rubbish. Of course he misses. Once more. Come on, sorry, man, you can do it. Right, it's a 19, damage dice, rolls an eight. So even though the default filter system pulls across plant, it pulls it down lowercase only, but that's not working. So straight away, there's our first potential problem. If you're trying to replicate this, you're building these things, that's the first thing to watch out for. You're going to go, why is it not working? I can't work it out. Um, don't worry, I had a little struggle for you. <laughs> Just capitalize that. Um, and the reason why is because when I looked at Oh, it's called Shambling Mound. But when I looked at it and I thought, yeah, it says plant, doesn't it, with a capital P? And I wonder if that's all it is. Really is that simple. And it is that simple. Uh, I know we've already killed this thing, but let's do a uh, let's do a two-handed. So holding down shift to do this. And there's a D10. And surprise, surprise, it's rolled a 10. We fixed it. Pew, the battle axe is now a functioning item, exactly how we wanted. Uh, and whoever it was who who said suggested build a bonus, you're an absolute genius because you have saved me. Oh, probably you know several heart attacks and and untold stress trying to work out the the coding and the macro. Somebody's already done it for us, and thankfully they've updated it really recently. So um, yeah, if you're going to be using um, build a bonus for anything. Um, let me know what you're going to use it for, because I'm sure there's loads and loads of applications that haven't even cropped up for me yet. Um, but I think that's brilliant. It's one of the one of the most useful ones that we've looked at, to be honest. Um, really, really good. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Take care.